will dominate the game. Put your will upon me. Put your will upon me. One play at a time. Yeah, very good. Do what you do. Do what we do. Love, trust, and believe in each other. Let's go have fun. Play action football. Let's go right here. Finish on three. Come on. One, two, three. Finish. This is ticket pool for the Alabama game. People have been out here since like 8 a.m. yesterday. It's almost 7 a.m. on the day we're gonna pool tickets. Very little sleep, but we're just here for some Aggie football. We're really excited. <laughs> we showed up, beginning of fourth quarter, Mississippi State. Streaming the game on my phone. A friend of mine had his little brother come out in the fourth quarter, got in line, but even during the fourth, he was the third in line. So we're third in line, been here since Saturday night. This is absolutely crazy, man. Like, they've been out here since 45 minutes after the last game on Saturday. It's Monday morning right now. Good job. Yeah. I'm sorry. No problem. Bother. Yeah, take them. Yeah. Football's out here uh, showing love to the 12th man, which makes Cowfield so special. We're handing out Krispy Kreme donuts for people that have been waiting in line since after the game. I just took a picture with Cecil. Hey, mom, 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 mom. I just took a picture with Cecil. Oh, hey, yeah. Like, life goal achieved. <laughs> yes, you do, the kicker. <laughs> It's clear that excitement on campus for Saturday's game against Alabama is everywhere you turn. And as we all know, nobody's perfect, but you guys are expected to be perfect for eight minutes tomorrow. Saturday night will showcase every aspect of A&M, and the Fighting Texas Aggie Band focuses on a perfect performance. So does the football team. This matchup means mistakes must be at a minimum. Thing they do on offense, defense, across the board. They, they're coached very well, they're great players, but they understand those situations and they play at the biggest moments, they play the best. You got a coach like Nick Saban up there who, he's a winner. He got a winner mentality, mentality uh, a Kobe Bryant mentality, where he always want to be successful. And um, uh, it's going to be a crazy game, but man, I'm super excited about it because um, it'll, it'll see a lot where we at as a, as a, as a team. Obviously, we have our grown pains right now, but uh, we ain't done yet. It's still alive and breathing, and uh, we work hard every single day trying to fix everything and adjust everything so we could beat Bama. Just got to pay attention to all the details, trust our coaches. You know, our tr coach is going to make a great game plan for us coming to the game on Saturday. We just got to just execute, you know, because, like, I mean, I mean, they wake up just like we wake up. So, I mean, we got an opportunity here to just go out here and compete against the number one team in the nation. I, I literally came back my senior year so I could come out there in that game and be the best version of myself. Uh, not just for myself, but for Texas a and them. So I'm, I'm super geeked up about it just to go against Bama. With all eyes on Aggieland, every detail counts. The field crew searches for precision in prepping the stage for this showcase event. Well, it is a seven day a week job, getting ready for a football game. The field staff does a great job. My staff is excellent and they take uh, responsibility and they pride in everything that we do. 
So, I mean, obviously the yard lines, they need to be measured out to the, the proper distance. You know, you don't want to have any issues there, your, your hash marks and things like that. I think the most challenging part is, is making sure that it's all laid out properly. It's hard work, so especially when it's the early part of the year and it's hot and you're bent over for eight hours painting and just staying focused on that and making sure that you're making the right decisions Monday through Friday that on Saturday the field is prepared and that you know it's going to be a good playing surface. The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is presented by Gallery Furniture, free delivery today. And by 44 Farms, proud sponsor of Fighting Texas Aggie Athletics. Everything's about opportunities. Everything's about opportunity. Opportunity's right there in front of your face. You gotta go play. Yes, there can be no great victories without adversity. You got a great adversity, you put yourself behind eight balls. Now, dig yourself out. Take advantage of what's in front of you. Take advantage of what's in front of you. Who you are, what you are, and more importantly, the way you do things and what you stand for. Sets us going forward for tonight and the rest of this year and what this program stands for. Listen, you're in this together. Band of brothers. Band of brothers. So lock into what you got. Bring your juice, bring your energy. I need to see it in your eyes, I need to see it in your eyes. Not fake, but you gotta come, man. You gotta come in everything you do. Put your nose right in the middle of it and go. Hey, let's go. Hey, believe on three, one, two, three. Let's go. And here come the fighting Texas Aggies. But this sold out crowd about to yell louder than they've ever yelled. It is rocking here at Kyle Field as we get ready for this kickoff. It's a give to Spiller, through the line, to the 40, to the 45. Fake to Spiller, roll to his right, Calzada. Zach Rose, complete at the Alabama 42-yard line. Seth Small comes on, and Seth's kick is plenty long enough, and the Aggies strike first. Calzada. Over the middle, complete to the 35-yard line, and four more yards over the middle. He's got Widermeyer open, 35, cuts to the middle of the field, still on his feet, cuts back and gets inside the 30 to the 27-yard line for Jalen Widemeyer. Calzada in the pocket, happy feet, rolls right, oh, wide open in the end zone, touchdown right side, Widemeyer. your basic three-play 75-yard drive for the Aggies. The opening round of this heavyweight tilt starts with a bang. The defense looks to land a few blows. This is a matter of inches. So Young will come under center, an eye formation. Fumbled at the line of scrimmage. And it's picked up by Texas A&M. Leon O'Neal Jr. Turnover, partner. Turnover. And the Aggies are going to have it in Bama territory about the 41-yard line. Chain right up the middle and a lot of room, almost a first down. It is I think, a yeah, first down it. for A Chain. First down run. A Chain slips through. 25 still on his feet, pushed ahead near the 23 yard line. A Chain will try the left side, cuts inside, first down, and inside the 20. A Chain again up the middle, stutter step, still on his feet, and he got knocked off balance to the 12 yard line. Smith moves off the line to the right. 
Isaiah up the middle, has the first down. Near the five-yard line, Isaiah Spiller just navigated and then squirted through Aggies. First and goal outside the five. Anaya Smith tight to the line. First and goal from the six. Calzada back in the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies! That's Anaya at the back of the end zone. Nobody went with him. Nobody covered him. Nice throw from Zach. Makes it 17 to 7. The defense has played well most of the season. They'll have to take it up a notch on this night. Third and goal from the one. Young's going to throw. Pocket throws. Intercepted! Demonte Richardson has picked off Alabama in the end zone for the second time in his career. The snap to Young in the gun. Pressure coming. And he's sacked. Tyree Johnson came from his right. Young in the gun. Here comes Clemens. And it's a sack from the other side. Tyree Johnson back in the game. And he gets his second sack of the game. Aggies take over from their own 26-yard line. Weidemeyer in motion. Fake the handoff to A-Chain. Calzada to the right. Throws intercepted at the 40-yard line. Threw it behind the intended receiver. Third and six from the Aggie 12. Pressure. Sacks! Back at the 20! Leon O'Neal Jr. 38-yard attempt. This might be just shy of 38 yards. And the kick is good. And after the DeMarco Hellams interception, Alabama gets three. Down the left side. Complete to A-Chain! At the 45-yard line! Calzada in the gun from the Alabama 44. He rolls to his right, looking back to his left. Throws to Spiller. Avoids a tackle down the left sideline. Steps back to the numbers to his right. Back to his left. Has the first down. Pile is still moving to the 31-yard line. A 13-yard gain. And maybe the last seven all by Isaiah. Three minutes left. First half, Calzada, pocket, over the middle, tipped, caught anyway, inside the 20, wrestled down to the 15, Anias Smith. In motion right to left, Anias, handoff. Isaiah right up the middle, 10, 5, Isaiah spins, leads, just touchdown, says the official on the near side. Going to have the two officials meet on the goal line to confirm touchdown or just shy. After video review, the ruling is confirmed. Touchdown. Everyone is feeling it, offense and defense. The energy is flowing through this team. The power, Kyle Field, is on display. Fourth and four for Alabama. In motion right to left. And movement by Alabama! Chris Owens moved fourth and nine. That's going to be it for the first half. 24-10 is the Aggie lead. It's a hell of a job. I didn't understand something. Understand how you got there. One play at a time. Yep. Don't start looking forward to anything yep. else. It's going to be hard as hell. They're going to come. Yep. We're going to come. Yep. That's what grown men do. Yep. Understand something. Yep. The key to this. Being able to execute and have poise and execution and effort on the most critical time. Win your air, on, listen, win your on every play, win your space. There ain't nothing magical, guys. Nope. Just that play, you're locked in and focused and do your job yes, each sir. and every time. Yes, you understand? Yes, so get yourself some rest. Hey, get you yourself back that? ready. And mentally get ready to go. Hey, love on three. One, two, three. Oh. Together, the Aggies push forward into the second half. The energy still there. So is the intensity. This night is electric. From the Aggie 41-yard line after the hold on the 8-yard game right up the middle. And a sack! He avoided injury. Cooper did young, but he absolutely could not avoid the high-stepping and stopping Michael Clemens. But it's still Bama on the other sideline. When facing the Crimson Tide, you'll always have to weather a storm. And it's blocked into the end zone, and it is picked up in the end zone. The block punts. And a touchdown. Let's see how the Aggies respond to the 
blocked punt and touchdown, trimming their lead to 24-17. A-Chain's going to field and run this. He fields at the 4. To the 10, 15, 20, 25. A-Chain to the left side. He is going to be off and running. Devon A-Chain, kickoff return, touchdown, Aggies. 95 yards, A-Chain. That's how you respond. The Tide has no intention of losing the nation's longest win streak. Robinson back in to the right of Bryce Young. Fake the handoff to him. In the pocket, fires deep left side, has a receiver, touchdown. From 29 yards, will be fourth and two. High snap, put down. Reichert's kick is good. The Pulse, Texas A&M football is presented by Gallery Furniture, free delivery today. And by 44 Farms, proud sponsor of Fighting Texas Aggie Athletics. Three quarters in, the tide are starting to roll, looking to wash away any Aggie hopes of a statement win. But it's still tight, and there's still time. Across the middle, complete to Holden. First down and more, and he falls at the 41-yard line, a 19-yard gain. On a third and six from the 45, Young's pass complete. Fake to Robinson, slant to Williams. Williams at the 20, Williams at the 15, Williams inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. First and goal from the 7, slant to Williams, all alone on the left side, touchdown. No one there for the Aggies. Two-point conversion for Alabama. Lone receiver to the right, throw to Williams, two-point conversion, 38-31, Alabama. Hey, get up, get up, let's go. Here we go. Aggies have it first and 10 from their own 35-yard line on the right hash. Snap to Calzada. Across the middle, complete to the 50, and across midfield to the 48-yard line, and still on his feet is Anaya Smith. Across the middle, that's complete at the 45. Backing towards the 40-yard line and then tackled forward. Devon A-Chain up the middle. Oh, clutch run by Devon A-Chain. He's got the first down to the 37-yard line. He needed three, got four. First and 10 for the Alabama 37-yard line. Zach throws complete to the 25-yard line. Between two defenders, Jalen Weidemeyer makes the catch. 12-yard gain. Trips right, including Weidemeyer. Zach, pocket, throws. He's got Anaya Smith, right side of the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies! Wow. Zach stood in the pocket to the last second and then threw a perfect throw on the corner route to Anaya. The game is tied, but Zach Calzada is down. The defense has to get the ball back, while Jimbo Fisher needs a quarterback to lead his team to victory. Alabama takes over first and 10 from its own 25-yard line with this game tied at 38, and not a single member of the 12th man has left Kyle Field. Robinson moves to the left, runs to the right on the handoff. Maybe a couple of yards, and Isaiah Rakes and DeMarvin Leal on the tackle. Just a couple on a second and nine. Leal coming in from the left side. Thrown across the middle and dropped by Billingsley. With 2.21 remaining in this fourth quarter. Third and nine. Two on the play clock. Just off in time. Third and nine. Throws across the middle. Low. Incomplete. The Aggies, a three and out. With 2.08 remaining in the fourth. The Aggies and Crimson Tide are all tied at 38. Calzada will head in to run the offense. Listen to the crowd. From his back foot, left side caught at the 49-yard line. First down, Isaiah Spiller out of the backfield. 
First and ten, pocket. Now he's going to roll to the right, and he is going to run across midfield to the Alabama sideline, and he dives ahead for the first down. Calzada zips across the middle. That's complete to the 30-yard line. Anias with another catch. Calzada will throw for Weidemeyer. He's interfered with inside the 10. The ball is at the 11. Two seconds are left. Tied at 38. 28 yard attempt by Seth Small. Is down. It is up. And the fight, Texas Aggies, take down the top ranked tied 41 to 38. And the celebration is on a Kyle Field. You just saw it. You just saw the heart of this team. It's ridiculous. Way more than 12 on this field. <laughs> 41-38, Texas A&M over the Alabama Crimson Tide. First of all, congratulations. I, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Because, listen, there's some tough times, tough tribulations. You're getting your character. It's how you respond to things that determines you and defines you. You understand? When the process is right, the results are there. Yes, sir. That wasn't an accident. Yes, sir. I want you to understand that. That was not an accident. That's a great coach team. It's a great team. Yes, but you lined up toe-to-toe, -to -toe, nose to nose and you played 60 minutes of football, and you can do it with anybody in the we country. believe in each other, man. Exactly right. But what you got to understand, points. listen. You understand the power of preparation, the power of discipline, and the power of the love, trust, and belief in everything you do with your teammates, with yourself, and with the organization. Now, we understand the formula. That formula's got to stay the same, okay? We ain't done. They're going to look at you. Can you repeat it? Yes. All you got to do, you want the key is? You ain't worried about repeating it. You know what I mean? ain't worried about looking at the scoreboard. We're going to practice our ass off. We're going to play our ass. Yes, and that's the end of the one conversation. Goal, one play at a time. No scoreboard. You understand the form. No scoreboard. You understand how to play. No scoreboard. But guys, I'm so proud of you. You reached down deep. You could have folded. They hit the momentum. They did things back. Defensively, special teams. Listen, special teams did great. Offense great. Defense great. You did everything you had to do. But we, get, but we still got more. We still got more. Okay. Kenyon's got something real quick. Hey, man. Be the first coach that beat Nick Saban. Oh, yeah. his praise. The coach did the same for his quarterback, who wouldn't be denied his comeback. That's what quarterbacking is. Getting off off the turf, man. Quarterback everybody thinks it's throwing and running. That, that always that's your job. The quarterback is making a team want to, that you'll stand in there and take bullets, man, and get up off that turf and go win for them and, and, and take shots and be hurt and be banged up. That's when your team grows. But critical plays, critical throws, managing the game in a critical game like that, two-minute drive, before they have answering up when they come back, answering up when they got ahead 38-31, to get that drive, then a two-minute drive. Extremely proud of him, extremely happy for him. And here's the thing, he's still got a lot of room to grow. And that's, that's the exciting thing about that.